All right now, Highway 50 is still shut down by a fire burning in the Sierra. The fire has been burning north of the American River on both sides of Highway 50 near the Whitehall area. Now, we do have a map to show you of the areas that are affected so you can see. Highway 50 is closed in both directions between Sly Park Road and Myers. KTR3 Shark Kina Shams joins us live now from near Kybers with the very latest. And Lisa, good afternoon. What you see behind me is a lot of uh, work trucks from both the U.S. Forest Service and Caltrans crews who've gathered out here at a spot on 50 near Kybers that is quite smoky. We can smell the smoke out here, and you can see very obvious signs of their fight against this fire. These hillsides around us are absolutely charred in some areas with little tiny hot spots of smoke rising from ashes on the ground. The ground below us pink from the fire retardant that they have released in this area to try to put flames out. In this video, we shot earlier, you can see some of the hazy, smoky skies. This is an effect of this fire that many people in the surrounding area are feeling today, you know, whether they're close to the flames or not, as the U.S. Forest Service works to put this out completely. They do have a better handle on it than they did yesterday, though we are still seeing damage to trees, to forests. You can see trees on fire clearly in these shots. So back out here live, I want to tell you it's for that reason, because they don't know whether some of those trees could become a hazard to the roadway. They have seen, they say, some damage to guardrails out here that Highway 50 remains closed at this hour. Lisa, as you mentioned, it is closed between Sly Park and Myers. And so if you're headed this way from the Sacramento area, the detour you'll want to take is at Sly Park Road over the Mormon Emigrant Gap Trail. And then uh, that will take you to Highway 88. And then from there into Tahoe, or you can just make things even easier and take I 80. But we do know they don't have an estimated time. Yet, when this roadway will be open, we're waiting to hear from Cal Fire on when they deem it safe, and then after that, Caltrans will officially reopen it. Live here on Highway 50 today, I'm Sharkin Shams, KCRE 3 News.